Alright, so first game will be Shili versus Malta. And uh, the Maltese wood buyers for the trade post will come in rather handy. Um, especially given how close it is. However, the Travoy seems to be starting on this side of the map. So he won't be able to build it in time. But then again, the trade route isn't that long. So perhaps the, by the time he builds the TP, it might already be coming round. But yes, starting with the field hospital scouting. Actually, probably also will go for trade posts for the villager. I uh, don't know if he gets enough wood though. I don't think he does. It looks like only one crate. Yeah, it's not going to be enough. Uh, I think his explorer dies here. But because uh pretty sure he doesn't have the crack shot with this civilization, unfortunately. So, Field Hospital will actually be going down near the TP. He might be going for some defensive TP structure here. He might uh, be planning to take on the fights in this region. Um, so, both players are from Canada, and uh, apparently Danzil is a bit known for having poor connection at times. Uh, so, some little birds have told me. <laughs> After seeing the threads. Um, but yeah. Doesn't seem to be an issue at the moment. Which is nice. Although he did light up uh, red yellow. In the lobby at times. Which was a little worrying. But uh, hopefully we'll be able to go through this entire series. Without me having to drop out. And uh, yeah. Danzel is known for his strategies. So I am excited to see. For any unique strategies. He might have come up with. And then air follow completely uh, new face. Let's see what he has come up with himself. Greece is very Greece is very strong in this map. Um, I think I had the forty minute game against Jerry, and it was going proper back and forth. But then I kind of like I kind of got raided hard. But even though I got raided super hard, my entire water eco is just keeping me alive really strong. Definitely lots of food for Greeks. You also have two whales uh, per pond. And then you can just build all your fish traps at the edge of the map. Which is what I did. Uh, one thing I failed to do which really ruined my strategy against my map, but, uh, my match against Jerry was to pr place my home city shipment flag in his water and then have my fire ships training sailors with a frigate here. That would have been <laughs> very annoying for him to deal with. But uh, yeah, back to the actual game. Uh, players should have the decks selected by now, so let's give them a quick look. Unfortunately, Air Fall does have a low deck, a low level deck, and. Uh, this, this, not too sure about. Um, yeah, not really the best deck. Some late game cards, but you know he's level 22 with the home city, so uh, it's not like he has better options. Let's take a look at Malta. He doesn't even care about age one. He's just ah, I'll send the villagers and whatever. And then uh, yeah, pretty standard aggressive deck. Looks like he's just going to be going all in. Right, so good news uh, to everyone watching. Uh, today, uh, well, Friday, since most of you are probably from America watching this right now. Uh, yeah, so Friday we we have a match, and then on Saturday we have three games in a row to be casted. And by in a row, I mean literally in a row. Uh, first game and second game only have an hour gap. Um, yeah, we'll see. We'll see if that fits. I, I hope the players will be a bit lenient on uh, starting late a little bit if need be. But yeah, Saturday is going to be hype. Three games in a row. 
and um, I don't know yet but um, considering last year where lots of people uh, decided to not actually show up to their games you know since this is only a once a year tournament yeah I've been thinking you know for players that may have not seen may, you know uh, somehow did not see the notifications and wanted to join the tournament or something uh, don't take my word on it for just yet uh, Samurai Revolution <laughs> is that actually you? oh my god well uh, thank you so much uh, that is going straight to the tournament prize pool so um, I'm sure the victor will also be appreciating that so much uh, so yeah thank you for your support much appreciated So yeah, reminder to everyone, uh, all donations during the tournament will go directly into the prize pool. So thank you again, uh, Samurai, uh, for your support. Alright. One Aspide, yeah. Another quick look here, he has Warhammers, let's see what he does with it. But yeah, I think there's a two aspide uh, card, wasn't there? I'm not too sure actually. Right, uh, aging up now, age two, we're gonna have a bit more action. Oh, he's actually going for the Aztec settlement here. Uh, maybe he is planning on some sort of uh, native strategy here, not sure. But we already have knights at home. Uh, knights being as tanky as they are can be rather scary especially versus Chile I'm, I'm not sure if they actually count as doubles in the town center yeah see once they're in the town center it only counts as one unit so it's not really going to increase the TC damage by a lot and uh, yeah these knights are the perfect um, meat shield for that I guess we also have our arbalests coming in Chileonia has um, access to heavy infantry in the beginning, so uh, Arbalesters here will actually be heavy countering uh, whatever unit that comes out of these barracks. Looks like uh, Danzel here is... oh, he's got a proper forward base here, and probably looking to get the second training post as well. Has he upgraded stagecoach? No. We also have footmen just to patrol around the base. Uh, he might actually see uh, this over here. All right, we got the battalion here engaging. Footman goes down. Oh wait, what? <laughs> just one shot. Uh, should really uh, kite here. The footmen are very deadly in close combat. We got more uh, coming in from the backs. They seem to be in the... I forgot the name. Uh, the Rage Mode, let's say. In the Rage Mode, they are still good against Cavalry. However, the Arbalesters, as mentioned before, will be... Oh, <laughs> strong in this circumstances, as they have the times 2 versus Heavies, giving the 40 damage. But unfortunately, Chile doesn't really have much of an option. <laughs> 